So I've been using the new Fire TV Stick 4K for a while and I'm actually loving it, especially the new remote with its volume buttons and the 4K, obviously. But I still feel like it lags behind in certain aspects like, you know, gaming or it would be awesome to have more apps. And my brain lit up when I saw the new Mi Box from the Chinese tech giant Xiaomi. But how good is it? How well does it compare to, say, Fire TV Stick? Well, let's take an in-depth look between those two and see what the differences are, shall we? Fire TV Stick costs around $40 on Amazon and comes with a dongle and a remote. Even though it's got a compact factor, it packs a quad-core 1.7 GHz CPU with 8 GB of internal storage, which helps it carry the heavy weight easily and offers a seamless 4K HDR experience. Mi Box S on the other hand costs slightly more, around $60 on Walmart, comes with a plastic matte design, the specs are pretty much the same as the Fire TV Stick, and so the performance during our testing, which means both can play 4K with HDR without any issues. Yes, you can increase the storage on Mi Box and the Fire TV Stick just by plugging in an external flash drive, but you would need a micro USB splitter for the Fire TV Stick. However, Mi Box doesn't do well when you talk about portability since it requires you to carry around a proprietary power adapter and an HDMI cable at all times. It's a lot less portable than Fire TV Stick. Also, the remote of the Mi Box feels kind of cheap compared to the Fire TV Stick, which is a big deal as you're going to hold it pretty much every time you're watching the TV. However, my biggest pet peeve with the Mi Box is the lack of Dolby Atmos support. So if you've already invested in a 5-point surround system, Fire TV Stick is a better option. Although both of them are quite similar in terms of build quality and performance, Fire TV Stick takes an upper hand in terms of portability and the remote that it comes with. It supports multiple playback codecs. So Fire TV Stick won the hardware round, but what about the software? Fire TV Stick runs a customized version of Android, which although is an acquired taste, it's for sure intuitive. But if you're buying it from Amazon.com, you might end up seeing some ads here and there to make up for the cost cutting. Talking about the App Store, Fire TV Stick has the Amazon App Store, which simply put, isn't the best place to download apps. So I use the Aptoid Store instead, which gives me access to pretty much every app. Mi Box, on the other hand, has an official Android Box certified Google, so you'll get updates regularly as they're released. Currently, it's on Android 8.1. Also, unlike Fire TV Stick, which has Amazon Store, the Mi Box uses the Play Store, which opens the doors to a lot of apps that are not available on the Fire TV Stick. For example, you can directly download Kodi, which you have to sideload on the Fire TV Stick. Overall, talking about the interface, Fire TV Stick is quite basic and parent-proof, but Mi Box gives you more freedom in terms of compatibility with its Android apps and the Play Store and whatnot. Mi Box comes with a Chromecast, so you can directly cast your Android screen or even content to a bigger display. And as long as you're using Chrome browser, you can also cast tabs from computers. Fire TV Stick 4K on the other hand has no Chromecast support. In fact, the newest version completely removed the half-baked screen mirroring that it had previously. Fortunately, you can still use the A Screen app to mirror Android screen. Heck, it even supports AirPlay, but then again, it's a third-party app with no guarantee that it'll work forever. So if screen mirroring is your thing and a basic requirement, Mi Box is obviously the way to go.
So I used my SmartDNS Proxy's DNS server on my Fight TV stick to get past geo restrictions. And you can do the same on the Mi Box as well. And just like Fire TV Stick, you can also sideload Smart DNS Proxy VPN on Mi Box as well. Since it's optimized for Android TV, you won't find it on the Play Store, but simply sideloading the APK just works fine. Although, I have to say, the user experience on Android TV is much better than the Fire TV Stick, where you have to use the mouse toggle app to navigate around. Overall, when it comes to removing geo restrictions, both Fight TV Stick and Mi Box do the job fine, but Mi Box takes the upper hand because of its user interface. And finally, the biggest thing that the Fight TV lacks is, of course, gaming. Yes, you can play some simple games on Fight TV Stick. But let's be honest, even kids these days don't play those. Well, Mi Box, well, there's some pretty decent games. Try playing a few games on the Play Store, such as Asphalt and Debt Trigger 2 with controller, and it worked fine. Next thing I tried was Steam Link App, which lets you play Steam games on your PC to your television over Wi-Fi. It works better than I expected. And that's not all, I tried installing retro games on Miibox, and holy hell, I can play some of my favourite games like Super Metroid, Super Mario, Contra, something that's impossible on Fire TV Stick. So yeah, if gaming is a priority, Miibox seriously has an edge over Fire TV Stick. So, which one's better? Well, I don't believe any one device is better than the other because they both have their own audiences. But if you're someone who just likes to kick back and just watch, you know, streaming or YouTube videos on your 4K HDR TV with Dolby Atmos sound, Fire TV Stick is the way to go, especially the fact that you can share it with your parents. However, if you like testing apps on your TV or need Chromecast, maybe even a bit of gaming, Mi Box is way better for you. But I tell you what, skip both of them and pay a bit of extra for NVIDIA Shield TV because it doesn't discriminate you unlike the other two. You can watch YouTube and play Amazon Prime videos on NVIDIA Shield TV. Its gaming performance is second to none. It's really cool. That being said, check out our other videos on NVIDIA Shield TV tips and tricks and NVIDIA Shield TV games for some good recommends. As always, I'm Vamsi. Thanks for watching and ciao.